Michael Chavello ringside with Mark the Hammer Castanini and making his way to the ring is the wild card entrant from Warrnambool. He's tall and he's hungry and his name is Trail Dowie and tonight he's hoping for a rocky story. Mark the Hammer, the wild card from Warrnambool, Trail Dowie up against the supreme fighting machine, Gurkhan Osgan. Well, Michael, it's really uh, just going to be a matter of whether this young man can overcome the pre-fight nerves and the hype of this event. OK, he's a relative novice fighter. He's got to overcome the big hype. And uh, then he's got his second biggest, uh, I suppose, stone in the way, which is Gurkhan Oskan. He is an experienced fighter. He fights in front of large crowds often. Trey Dowie is going to have to really uh, knuckle down and uh, make sure he's 100% focused for this one. The venue darkens. The spotlight is turned on. That music, it can only mean one thing. The emergence of the ticking time bomb. The human wrecking ball. The supreme fighting machine, Gurkhan Oskan. Folks, say hello to the first kickboxer in history to jump from super middleweight to heavyweight between fights. Say hello to a man on a demolition mission to be the king of kings. Say hello to Gurkhan Oskan. Mark the Hammer, what a history-making fight this will be for Gurkhan Oskan. He has gone from super middleweight to heavyweight virtually overnight. Well, certainly Michael uh, Oskan has got a big ask here in front of him. Some would say a, a silly transition from super middleweight to heavyweight, but... Uh, Time will tell how he goes in this, the first K1 in Australia. Let's go to Andy Raymond. Ladies and gentlemen, the King of King opens with a first round matchup. Each of our matchups tonight in this K1 division will be three rounds over three minutes. From the blue corner, from the Richard Watts stables in Warrnambool on the Victorian coastline, a wild card entry into tonight's event. He stands six foot four and weighs in at 98.65 kilos. Trial Dowie. <laughs> From the red corner tonight, this gentleman is making history by becoming the first kickboxer to jump from super middle to heavyweight between fights. Tonight, he weighs in at 91.15 kilograms. From the Tarek Solak Braveheart Academy, residing in Knox, Victoria, a former two-time world super middleweight champion, the supreme fighting machine, Gurkhan Oskan. Your referee for the opening contest, Mr. Bryce Ferguson. Well, a tremendous ovation, as always, for the Supreme Fighting Machine, Gurkhan Ozkan, stepping up against Trail Dowie, our first fight of the K1 Oceania tournament. Folks, this is history in the making. The sound of the bell, referee Bryce Burt Whistle will be the man in charge in centering, of course, your former trainer, Hammer. That's correct, Michael Bryce there, sporting the new hairdo. You may not recognise that if you've seen him in the past. <laughs> Looking very sharp indeed he is. But uh, he will take good control of all of his bouts. He's a, uh, a very, very good uh, centre referee and uh, also an accomplished trainer preparing uh, Diamond Dale Westerman, Diamond Dale Westerman for his uh, ring return, Michael. Well, the time for talk is over, folks. We're about to get underway. The first fight on the K1 tournament. Gurkhan Ozkan has jumped from 76 kilo to 92 kilo. In only 10 weeks, he's been working out at Body World Gym in Balaclava with Mario Florides and JD former Australasian bodybuilding powerlifting champions. Well, the boys down at Body World say they've certainly got his strength and his weight up, but uh, that could be at the sacrifice of some fitness. Trey Dowie, have a look at him. He's already starting to get that front foot nice and loose. He's going to keep popping that front leg. I say Gurkhan's going to just come barraging in any minute now with those uh, overhand punches and try and make easy work of Trey. Well, Gurkhan Oscar is supremely confident that he can make it all the way to the final here tonight. He'll be making history if he wins this fight alone, folks. No one in the history of kickboxing has ever gone from super middleweight to heavyweight between fights. You can see Oskan setting, looking for an opening to roll in with that overhand right that he's renowned for. Trey Dowie is going to uh, let those big long legs of his go, hopefully. Gurkhan Oskan already starting to wind up that vicious left hook, the big bertha. The overhand right there from Oskan. Dowie ties him up in the centre of the ring. Nice knee to the ribs there, one up to the head from Dowie. He's got a fight plan, Hammer. He wants to send the knee to the head of Gurkhan Oskan. Oskan all tied up and nowhere to go. Big overhead right from Oskan. Dowie has to keep Big left hand from Oskan. Big overhead right almost for Trail Dowie here in the first round. One minute 25 down in the first round of action. 
Now he has to keep his hands up on the break. He drops his hands when he breaks off from those clinches. And that's when Gurkhan's going to let those big overhand punches go. See Gurkhan taking the body and then going up to the head. Smart tactics from him. Gurkhan Ozkan, such a powerful fighter, such a powerful hitter. He Good. can hit you so hard, you'll start to death rolling. He's wearing the black and blue shorts there, Gurkhan Ozkan, looking very sharp, and he wants big to make right his hand. opponent black and blue as well. One minute 50 down in the first round. Heavyweight debut for Gurkhan Ozkan against the wildcard trail Dowie from Warrnambool. Ozkan already showing flashes of those powerful fists that have knocked out 25 of his opponents within the first round. Of course, that was at super middleweight, folks. How is he going to fare here at featherweight? Oh, heavyweight, I should say. Big right hand to the draw. Big right hand over the top again from Ozkan. Trey Dowie has to use that front leg a lot more. Michael is not popping the front leg off enough to keep Gurkhan away. He should just keep popping it out inside and outside. Thigh. Keep his hands up. Down there, his chest is not where he wants to be holding his gloves. Dowie. Big right hand came close, but no cigar for Gurkhan Ozkan. Dowie ties him up in the neutral corner. Ozkan now rattling out some of the heavy artillery. Another big cracker and another from Ozkan. Those punches will make Dowie wish he was someplace else. Well, Dowie putting up a good defence so thus far. Technically not as good as Ozkan, but uh, nevertheless, he's showing a lot of heart, the young man. The wild card trail Dowie from Warrnambool, Richard Walsh Stables out there. They breed him tough down in Warrnambool, I can tell you. Comments from the former Australian Cruiserweight World Cup champion, Mark Hammer Castanini. There's the end of the first round. Hammer, a power pack round for the Supreme Fighting Machine. Well, this is where the corner really has to go to work on Trail Dowie and let him know what he's doing wrong. He's getting caught a little, he's looking a little bit weary. Ozkan certainly taking the breath out of him with those body punches. There we see Dowie just grabbing on, trying to let those knees go. He has to be wary not to hold on for too long because the rules only allow for a short span of grappling while your knee working. So obviously Dowie keep working the knees. He wasn't just holding on there. He kept the clinch on and kept working at Oscar. Oscar clever tactics was going the body punches. We're underway in round number two of action. Gurkhan Oskan says that he'll trade blows with anyone in the world for three rounds. Well, he's got to do it with Trail Dowie at the moment. Of course, in this sort of tournament fight, a fighter must also preserve his energy to move forward in the tournament. Gurkhan Oskan, having stacked on 16 kilos in 10 weeks, who wants to conserve his energy, that's for sure. Trey Dowie on the right knee has got a bit of bleeding happening down there. A bit of a cut that was open. Here comes Dowie with the knees again. That's what Oscan's going to really have to watch out for. That's what got him in trouble uh, against Tibor Vermes, of course, Michael. Exactly. How much Tibor Vermes connected with a couple of nice knees to the head, which had Oscan in all sorts of trouble. Dowie much taller and heavier here than Oscan. Well, that's what Dowie wants to do. He wants to lean down on Oscan and really tax his, uh, his uh, strength. Nice Let's get the whole body right. Big That head dangerously low. Gurkhan yep. Ozkan will have to be careful. Dowie has seven kilos on him, Hammer. He wants to just open up on his elbows a bit, Dowie. He's bringing his, the grapple in very tight, but he's not allowing enough room for his knees to get through. He just wants to leverage down on Ozkan's head a little bit more and give himself some more working rate. Also, uh, pivot Ozkan's body around when he does link on with that grapple. Big overhand right, straight right to the draw! That's it, that's it. That's Dowie's one count. You can bet that Oscan's going to jump all over him now and try and make short work of, uh, of Dowie. But uh, Oscan to date still hasn't impressed me against Dowie. The fight will continue here in the second round of action. Gurkhan Oscan has exploded in the second round. Front kick by Dowie. Here comes Oscan. Bit of a shame there for Trey Dowie. He started well, but the, was just overawed by the whole occasion, I'd say. More so than uh, Oscan's abilities. Oscan. Listen to this crowd. They are erupting. Well, 
certainly Oscan is uh, he's getting a bit of support here. But uh, I'll tell you what, he's going to have his work cut out for him against uh, the more complete fighters. He took uh, a little bit too long to put away Trey Dowie, someone of novice experience. And I can tell you what, the heavier boys are really going to tax Oscan in the uh, in the semi-final. Ladies and gentlemen, at an official time of 1.52, off round number two, your winner, and progressing in K1, King of Kings, the Supreme Fighting Machine, the Ken Oskan. Kirkan, stepping up to heavyweight tonight, a lot of people say it's a big risk, a lot of people say you're crazy for doing it, going from super middleweight to heavyweight. How do you feel, stepping up for a history-making event? Um, it's just another fight, mate. Uh, I see it, they've only got a couple of kilos over me, but um, I think I've got a bigger heart and uh, I can uh, match them up with the strength. I just got to, it's, it's a little bit of new territory for me, so I just got to be a little bit careful at the start, but once I warm up, I'll uh, explode like I always have been. You said in an interview not so long ago you'll go three rounds with anyone in the world. That still holds true? 